up, guys. I'm gonna wait for a few people to join here. Hello, butter boy. Howdy. Can't pronounce your name. Oops. I'm trying to lock my car. Hey everyone, um, so I'm here today at the Chapel Hill Mall, uh, just outside of Akron, Ohio, or I guess it's in Akron, Ohio. And um, today is the last day for the mall to be open. And I hope that you guys can hear me. There's a little bit of wind. So I hope that it's not too disruptive. Uh, we're gonna look around the outside a little bit. I already filmed, I'm gonna make a full X-log on this place. But uh, we'll just chat it up and live stream. And don't condemn me. I have to put my mask on if I want to go inside. So that's just the thing that's going to have to happen. So whatever. Oh, easy. So yeah, um, pretty sure this place was built 1965, I think. Something like that. Hi, that retail guy. And, uh, you know, it was here, it, it was here before Rolling Acres, I believe, which is gone now. It's just, you know, it, this, this mall has faced a lot of competition. Apparently, right up that way, there's, there's a shopping center that's got like a Best Buy and a whole bunch of stuff. And, um, apparently that's been like the biggest competition. So, you know, that's, I talked to a lot of locals here. They said that that shopping center is what took this, um, this mall down. So yeah, I just want to show you the exterior. There's some really cool exterior, um, some really cool exterior tenant spaces. This used to be a Sears. Down the other end, it used to be a uh, McCrory's. Then it turned, I think it was McCrory's. Then it turned into a Kaufman's. And then when Federated took over, it became Macy's. And then it closed down. Um, but yeah, today is the last day for the Chapel Hill Mall. I heard about it Friday and I had to put everything down. Um, as you guys know, I've been dealing with a lot of real heavy family stuff. Um, I was here yesterday too. And <laughs> I, so Anthony over at Faded Commerce met me over here yesterday and I had my drone out and I, we found all these dirt bike guys on the other side of the Sears here. Shot some crazy footage. <laughs> but here you go. This place is... We're going to go inside. Trust me. We're going to go inside. But I just wanted to walk around this whole place with you. Catch up. I think you can see inside here. The smell coming out of there is atrocious. But look at this, look at this parking lot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Those lights haven't been on in quite a while, I think. They weren't on last night. So this mall is kind of weird. Um, this is kind of weird. The only thing that's really left open here is a party city. And the party city, it has no exterior mall access. You can't get in to the party city from the outside. Um, and party city hasn't packed up their stuff yet. So 
<laughs> like you can only get into the party city from inside. And um, I don't know what they're gonna do about that. We'll see. A little key making station. I don't know, Jay Queen. I, I, I they haven't packed anything up. When we go inside, you'll see. That's the old Sears Auto Center, and Anthony was here yesterday in his car doing donuts and burnouts in the parking lot. It was awesome. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys that drone footage. There's a Regal Cinema over there. And I think it's been closed for some time. Django, wait till you see inside. I don't know, I, it's not what I expected inside. I expected like, I don't know, something different. I, it, it's not what I expected. It's a, it's a super long concourse, like from one end to the other. Yeah, everything's pretty well sealed up. Discontinuing business, 2017, looks like this closed. Everybody write that down. Write that down so I remember. We'll go in through the back entrance here. So this is the parking lot yesterday where the dirt bike kids were. And I coordinated some, some shots with them with my drone. And I had the dirt bike kids start down at that end and I would have my drone behind them and then I had them tear ass up to the mall. And then I'd fly the drone up to the ceiling, up to the roof. Really cool shots. I might put them up on my second channel just for the hell of it. There were some guys with a pickup truck here yesterday, picking through whatever was in there. I don't think there's anything there. They weren't here for long. I can't see. Is there anything in there? Is there anything in there? I can't see in there. Mostly garbage. Garbage. Welcome to the Chapel Hill Mall, shoppers. Yeah, look at all the look at all the burnout marks. Ah, oh, that's just a gnarly view. That is just a gnarly, gnarly view. I hope the reception's okay. I'll try and get a, a steadier shot, but there's a pretty, pretty cool uh, J.C. Penney label scar up there. So I haven't been out of my house in a while. Um, I've been pretty well hunkered down, and um, I heard on, I think I heard Friday, that this place was closing this weekend, and I've always wanted to see it. I've always had it on the back burner. I always thought it was like you know, <sighs> struggling, but not really endangered um, but once I heard that it was actually closing I had to put everything aside and, and come see it I don't know what the hell that is maybe that's what they would mount lights to I don't know we might catch Kristen from Unicom Productions here she's inside Yeah, it looks like everything is pretty well 
taking out all the uh, combustibles. Sears. If you guys are just joining the stream now, we are going inside. You're just gonna have to give me a second here. I haven't caught up with you guys. J Queen, yeah, this is my, well, I was here yesterday, but this weekend is my first visit to the mall. Uh, I've never been here before. Oh, and I see. That, uh, that wood is what they uh, attach that to. And no, there's nothing wrong with getting exterior shots, but I, the, I'm not, right now I'm not filming for the video. We're just hanging out. Um, I already used all my cameras and got all the shots that I need. Um, so this is just live stream for the hell of it. And I guess we're going to walk around the whole thing. Nah, we're not going to walk around the whole thing. We're going to go in here. And then we'll go out the uh, food court. Paradise Valley Mall? Hasn't that mall been closed like a million times? I feel like I've heard about that like 20 times. This is in Akron, Ohio. The Cron. I like that. This is the Cron. Oh, this thing hasn't been used in God, who knows how long. Jordan Cook, I don't know. Uh, word on the street is word on the street is that this place is going to become a business park and that redevelopment will be swift so I don't know um, a couple other people are confused about the party city so they don't know what's really happening there and uh, but the plan is that it, there was a sheriff sale it changed hands over to new owners and uh, now they're planning to redevelopment this uh, redevelop this place with haste so i don't know oh my god I, i'm definitely coming to michigan once the uh, pandemic is over I, i'm uh, oh my god i'm going everywhere we're taking the x-log we're taking the x-log uh international it was a different car yesterday I don't know what the hell this car is doing. Yes, Ryan, I'm coming to Canada. Hang on, I need to mask up if I'm going inside. Good thing I have a tripod. Hold on. Okay. Alright, we're going inside. Going inside. Chapel Hill Mall, Akron, Ohio. Going inside. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're out of automatic. Yikes. I hope that's not the entrance. You can really see the 1965 here. So the reason that I feel comfortable doing a live stream here is A, it's the last day, and B, I don't plan to release this video for who knows how long, um, over a year at least. So, so we're just gonna kind of walk through so you can see it on this last day.
One story. I don't think there's going to be any music playing. So most of these places, a lot of them were still open yesterday. Uh, they were all cleaning out, so they weren't really open for, for business. But um, yesterday, a lot of the people were here just cleaning out their stores, so you could still see you know, people going in, uh, in these stores. Hey, Christina, you're asking where I've been. I've been doing video uploads about every two weeks. So I hope that you've rang the bell and pressed subscribe because I have been putting out content. This place had a sign yesterday that said they'd be back in 20 minutes. This, this was their sign that said, we'll be back in 20 minutes. I knew that wouldn't happen. Loot Bag Larry, just look up Quite Studios. Uh, you'll find my second channel. It's just all raw content, weird stuff. I put a video up of an upside down mall. Just weird, weird stuff. That's Bach, I hear Bach. That's a, that's a flute. I think it's either a fruit prelude or something. A dollar, I'll give you 10. <laughs> I already did that, we're on a live stream now. You see, that's a cool security guard right there. You don't know what I've been through, all right? It's on me. All right, man, I appreciate you being cool. I'm not nobody no hard time. You rock. <laughs> that guy is super cool. <laughs> out of all the malls I've been kicked out of, man. I'm doing, I'm, I'm trying so hard not to get you guys in this shot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's fine. Videographer acrobatics. <laughs> These two hallways are pretty old school looking. Trying to put my phone inside the thing. There you go, that's rare. 
you see a lot of green, you know, mercury vapor and stuff, but I don't know what that is. Is that xenon? Is that xenon gas? It might be xenon. Oh, you can't really tell in the video, but that's like a pinkish hue. Liminal space happens down the other end. Wait till we get to the other end. Everyone say bye, super cool security guard. <laughs> I don't know what this used to be. Oh, finish line. Yeah. Guys, how's the re uh, the reception on this? What do you what do you call it? The Transmission, I don't know, how is the, how's the quality? Is it coming through? Is that what you call it these days, reception? Has the cell strength, I don't know. I don't know what the hell to call it. Oh, um, I have a video coming out tonight. By the way, um, I don't know if you can hear me with the mask but there's a video coming out, fully produced X-Log coming out tonight. It might be a little late though, uh, because I have to get back to Baltimore from here. So X-Log 85 on the center at Forestville is coming out tonight. So as soon as I get back to Baltimore, I'll make that uh, premiere go live. So tonight, I hope to see you guys all there. Uh, I should tell well, there's music. Hold on. There's music. I got music going on, so I have to talk or else I'm going to get, I'm going to get arrested by the MCAA. So tonight there is an X-Log coming out. X-Log 85, Center at Forestville, District Heights, Maryland. It's a really good one. The sponsor spot is the internet. Uh, narrated by the guy who wrote the book, Internet for Dummies. And here we are at the center court. I'll introduce this to you right now. How cool is that? So it's like some, it's like a sky mural. Here's the fountain. I got a lot of really cool fountain porn coming. Uh, this was on yesterday, but today it's not. This was a JC Penny. JC Penny.
Look at that. There's this weird little hallway here. It doesn't really lead to anything. Okay, Neil, I'll go back there in a second. Actually, there's another one at the other end. I'll do, I'll, I'll do, I'll show you twice. I'll show you the map twice and I'll do a here, we are here thing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you where we are on this map. Okay, so we just came from that end where, wait, no, we just came from that end where the Sears was. So this is kind of backwards. So we're now here. That's not true. We're here. We're actually here. Yeah, those lights are making the humming noise. Down that end was the Sears. There's the JC Penney. And down that end was the Macy's. So this should be flipped. Matthew, no, the map's not messed up. It's just, it's just rotated incorrectly. Um, you'll see down the other end. I'll show you. Yeah, that's definitely the uh, Mall PA death gurgle. Everything is gone. Cool Cat Productions, everything is gone. Keep an eye out. These are fake, but keep an eye out. You hear that? You hear that?
What can I say? You know? What can I say? There's just nothing here. So this Macy's, this Macy's used to be a, uh, or sorry, this is a storage unit place now and it used to be a Macy's. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys where we are now uh, on this map. Okay, so. Let's see. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I know why it's wrong. Because all three of the directories were just printed exactly the same way. And the you are here thing is in the same place in all of them, I guess. <laughs> so. This is where it says we are, but we're actually there. <laughs> but it's just printed that way. All right, we need to investigate now. Let's see if the same thing is here at the food court. Okay, we need to go to the food court. Um, this is your gentle reminder that xlog85 comes out tonight as soon as i get back home to baltimore and um it's it's really good it's uh what i consider to be the antithesis of the whole neon 80s mall thing because it has those old school dark brick walkways it's super dimly lit and uh you know i'm trying to just dispel the misconception that Malls are neon. That neon is what defines malls. And while I, I love, love, love neon, the, the story goes deeper. Um, so sometime tonight, maybe like eight, nine o'clock, we'll do uh, Xlog uh, 85, which is the center of Forestville. Uh, well, let's go check out this directory. Also, could you guys please make sure that you are both subscribed to me and that you rang the bell so that you know when my videos come out. Just subscribing isn't gonna uh, tell you when my videos pop up. So I would really appreciate it. Humbly, kindly asking you if you could please subscribe and uh, ring the bell so that you know when my videos come up. I'd appreciate it, guys. And here we have it. Yep. So the one down there, the one down there, and this one, they all say we're in the food court. But, <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's why the mall died, because nobody knew where they were. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hitting that bell. Free content. I make it because I just like to make this stuff, and, you know, it means the world to me if you guys watch it. So I appreciate that. I appreciate the sub. I appreciate the bell. And once again, Xlog85 comes out tonight. And it's actually been a pretty tough couple of weeks. So I had to kind of really pull it out of me to, uh, to get that one done. But right now we're going to head to the food court. And there is nothing left in there. So without further ado, here's the food court.
So they have the sign up saying that they're closed, but they're just packing up. So sad. So this is the party city. Um, nobody's really sure what's going to go on here. And I'm not going to go in because it's still doing stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on here. Just mall guts and things, whatever. Actually, let's see if we can ask them. Are you guys closing? How do you get in? Just, just there, yeah. I'm assuming you're gonna have like the doors open. Right, okay. Hello. Hello. Nobody knows what the F is happening here. All right, well, here's the food court. This is it. Christmas stuff. I guess they just didn't bother to take the stuff down. This is carousel. I could have sworn that thing was on yesterday. Okay, there's these. Okay. This thing. It sells like like stuffed animals or something and it's got the creepiest kids like they sound so creepy from far away and it's all i heard when i was walking around in here so i'm gonna walk up you have to see this it's the creepiest thing ever Sorry. Sorry.
love these stuffed animals. animals. Come on, come play with us. Look it. Look it. This is all I heard walking around the food court. This is a zebra. Hey, I'm soft. Look it. And, and people. And people. Come on, come on. And brown. Come on. And it. God damn it. Hi, 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 hi. I love you, I love you. I can't. I can't. I can't. I gotta get away from those kids. I gotta get away from those kids. <laughs> so the mole's done. Here, let me show you the out. Let me show you the front. The outside of this is just epic. Okay, so we're back outside here. I gotta show you the front. I had to get away from those kids. Drive me nuts. Is that a French accent aigu? Hmm. Sorry for the wind. A lot of really cool drone footage of this place that's coming out. But um, we're gonna go back in, walk through, and then uh, I'll we'll cancel, I'll cut off the stream. All right, back in. You're going to hear the kids again. It's the first thing you're going to hear. God, no, no, no. All right, so we're gonna leave. We're gonna go that way. They're done. This is your final reminder. Actually, I'll probably give you one more. Xlog 85 tonight, as soon as they get back to Baltimore. For anybody that's on here right now, this is just a live stream. This isn't produced. This is just me off the cuff. Just shooting the bullshit with you guys. But tonight, fully produced video coming out. I finished it Friday morning.
when I actually do produce the episode for this place, those kids are gonna be all over this mall, I promise. Pretty sure there used to be a phone booth here. I mean, why not? Why not remove the phones, but keep the uh, TTY sign? Doesn't make sense. So that's how they kept them all open. Lost locker keys. Oh God, what's in this? Ugh. There's socks. There's a diff there's one sock here. There's a different sock there. Apparently the uh, security station sells grills. Oh, that's right. We walked all the way around. All right, well, listen. Um, so tonight, X-Log 85. Um, it's coming out whenever I get back to Baltimore. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll do a fully produced video on this, on this place, but it's not coming for a long time. I have a lot of stuff to get through in my backlog. But um, I did visit this joint and then I also vi I went into Cleveland uh, downtown uh, this morning and I got to see Tower City Center, which was awesome. And uh, I got some, uh, I actually got approval to fly my drone around the city there to get some really awesome shots. Um, but this episode is gonna be nuts when it finally comes out. But again, it's not coming out for a while. Lots of stuff to cover. Um, so if you're still here with me, please come with me tonight. I'm gonna walk with me through the center of Forestville. Uh, that's happening uh, maybe eight, nine o'clock, something like that. It's gonna be a late episode. So I apologize about that. I just don't want to delay it anymore. Uh, but for now, um, I'm gonna get back on the road and I uh, appreciate you guys coming to take a walk with me. Hold on, somebody wants to talk to me here. What? Yeah, for, what time is it? What, what 41? You got like two hours and 20 minutes. Two stores. No. There, there's half of a Foot Locker and Rainbow. Nothing to eat though. I'm doing a documentary. <laughs> Look me up on YouTube, just Sal, S-A-L. That's it. See you, bud. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, um, tonight, X-Log 85, um, uh, it's gonna be good. It's a really fun episode. The uh, sponsor spot is a lot of fun and um, uh, I hope you guys like it. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here and drive back home and uh, love you all. So take care of yourselves, stay safe and have a fantastic day. Oh, join the Discord too. Make sure you join the Discord if you guys wanna chat with me and everybody else. Um, links are down below. Uh, join the Discord, join my Twitter and Instagram. I used to forget how to, to uh, advertise that I have that stuff. So I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, at Quite Studios. All the links are in my description. So come follow me on social media and watch my films tonight, please. So, <laughs> all right, guys, love you all. Stay safe, take care, have a fantastic day.